Does this still work? Alright, let's make a video. What up, what up? It is Maxwell back with the next Clash of Clans video. Finally, guys, been a week actually haven't uploaded in that long in forever and uh, now i'm back christmas break is officially over it's of course time to do some stuff today um we're gonna check out the war awesome war war weights against power coc great performance by wales um i'm gonna in the beginning we're gonna focus a little bit on the war just because i want to get a little bit back into the gameplay show you guys some attacks and um then we're gonna go over the comments answer some questions uh, I've been getting a ton of feedback from you guys on my last video, which was awesome. And in the end, I'm going to bring you guys up to date with the last couple of wars that have been going on in Warways, just in case you guys want to catch up. Because as I said, haven't been making a video in a week. So yeah, for some of you on the outside, you have been missing something. So let's jump right in, guys. And a very sweet victory, as you can see. 115-109 against Power COC. Great performance by Wales, cleared 9th with only one fail, 94% 99 hit rate, 15 out of 16. This war was not quite even though we had two more tens. Breakdown was 7, 20, 13 for us, 7, 18, 15 for them. So yeah, we were up two tens, but obviously with such a huge star differential, still a quite uh, yeah commanding victory for us, of course. So yeah, beautiful stuff by us. As I said, one fail on Town Hall 9. Uh, really awesome stuff. Certainly, ooh. Certainly. Uh, gearing up for, um, yeah, the worst that uh, are to come. So, guys, let's jump in already. Uh, what's that? Minute and 40 without gameplay. I don't want to have that. Let's jump in. 2 11 v 11 triples. We're going to be checking those out. 10 10 v 10s, guys. And... As I said, awesome war. Uh, of course, update makes 10v10 a lot easier as well as 11v11. But uh, still, you gotta bring it first uh, before you can brag about it sort of uh, type of thing. And we're gonna start things off with King Walter White, a.k.a. Uh, Matsi. Um, for those of you that may wonder and have seen this account in Warwitz, it would be pretty funny if the account would be named King Warwitz, but no, it's named uh, King Walter White. Actually, in case you don't know who Walter White is, check it out. Um, but yeah, Matsi has been joining us and he's been absolutely smashing it. He's been going 9 out of 10, 10 v 11 so far. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the best 10 v 11 hitters in the game right now. And also likes to do 10v10, so he had a crack at 10v10 this war also. And had a time fail actually, so nice 2 star here on this base. And a time fail, Matsi not afraid to bring out the queen walk against these single inferno towers. So uh, let's watch that. And yeah guys, I'm gonna bring you guys up to date actually for once uh, during the middle of war here. Uh, in, the, in the middle stages of the video. Just because I want to focus on, on some other stuff later. So... Um, let me actually go to this side as you guys watch. He's a nice double jump kill squad here. <clears throat> Alright, then we're gonna catch up here on the comments as well in a minute. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, stats for this war. As I already mentioned, 2 11 v 11 uh, uh, triples for us. We actually unlocked 6 11 versus 11 attempts because we had so many 10 v 10 triples and perfect dips. Whales going 8 out of 8 for dips, so awesome stuff to our 11s. Um, We've got a couple guys on the bench right now. Uh, Hugo is currently not playing, taking a break. Uh, may or may not come back. Jojo is currently taking a break. Um, so we're actually quite handicapped even in our uh, roster, but still uh, we are smashing it right now, which is definitely nice. Um, so yeah, uh, 2 for 6, 11 v 11. Um, Power COC had a couple of anti-3 bases, if I remember correctly. And then a couple anti-2s with like single infernos and of course just making it a bit harder to triple. Um, so we decided to go for some 2 stars and some triple attempts. I for example did 2 11 vs 11 attempts. Um, one didn't work out at all which was surprising because uh, the plan was really good. And the other one ended up being 90%. Uh, so no luck for me this war but... Some others had more luck, including Ruiz, who is of course back, since he currently has not, no, not too much uh, 
commitments with school and has got some time to um, play Clash, <laughs> is what I meant to say. And for this one though, we gotta shout out Red5 for sure, because Red5 came up with the idea for this one, I had another idea for this base. And Red5 said, well, go Bolala on this one, should work. And of course, Ruiz likes to do everything that is Lalo, sort of, so <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> sort of a random funnel here, the queen almost walked on him, lost a lot of health. Um, yeah, a little bit weird, but still the kill squad, as you can see, getting so much value here with the eagle artillery, enemy queen defensive, clan castle, axe, boast, inferno towers, all that good stuff. Actually, I think he's not gonna get an inferno, if I remember correctly. Anyways, Ruiz, as you can see, has been putting in the work already at farming. Ruiz does not gem, so uh, he's been farming those heroes to 50-50, and that certainly helped out. Oh, he actually got the one Inferno Tower there. All right, and then he comes in with the Lalo. A bit unfortunate turn of events here with the balloons catching a red bomb right away, but uh, other than that, the Lalo is going to be smashing its way throughout the base. By the way, guys, um, tough times uh, coming up for me as a Clash competitive clash youtuber uh, with so many 10v10 triples uh, it's gonna get really tough for me to highlight everything so as I told you guys one fail on tunnel 9 this war one fail out of 16 attacks yeah 16 attacks so that itself would deserve an entire video 10 10v10 triples I could make an entire video out of that and then two 11 v 11s plus also an awesome, yeah, awesome, I don't want to say, well, I don't want to exaggerate, but a really solid performance 10 v 11. So I could actually make separate videos about Dano 11, uh, smashing 11, smashing 10s and smashing 9s. So not going to be able to do that. Also, I want to be fair towards our opponents. I don't want to burn all their bases. That's why I'm going to be keeping my videos to the usual uh, length. Not going to be showing more attacks although it hurts and I also kind of feel bad for my clanmates because they put all these uh, amazing attacks that they put in their work um, but it's just gonna be more of a highlight show um, I guess so uh, yeah guys just a quick heads up why I'm not showing all the triples uh, it's just not possible every video would be like 30 40 minutes uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit but they would be really long and longer than lo most people would want to watch and also, more longer than I would want to record and more bases than I would want to burn. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, up next, guys, we've got another 11v11 triple. And, uh, yeah, Mr. November actually also joined us in Warwitz, which is awesome. He's a beast. Shout out to him. But this war, he was actually busy. Uh, so, York came in here to help out and actually pulled off an 11 versus 11 triple. So, awesome stuff to York. And uh, yeah, as you can see, Queen Charge Lalo for this one. Uh, quite a nice Queen Charge. I am, it's of course really tough to funnel the Queen into the base with these ring bases, but he did an amazing job there with just a, a baby dragon, so very cheap uh, funnel actually. And then he makes his way in, as I already mentioned. Uh, it takes out a bunch of stuff here. Let's go to times two. Queen is going to be sort of weird here. The, he has to pop the Warden ability because of the Warden getting targeted. Of course, multi-targeting in front towers are really nice for queen charges since they don't block the healing and don't heat up as much. Uh, or don't heat up at all, actually. <laughs> um, we used the king just for a mortar funneling and some tanking there. Um, so it didn't really have any good use for the king. Decided not to bring any wall breakers or anything for him. Uh, and yeah, comes in with the Lalo. Queen still working. The warden died in the meantime because he got targeted. Rage spell. He's gonna take care of the Eagle Artillery finally. Always a little bit scary for me at least. Whenever the Eagle Artillery goes down so late. But uh, York clearly not worried and it did end up working out. The Queen able to wrap up here. And uh, grab the final building so not. Uh, picture perfectly clean but you know 11v11 triple. Nevertheless and it's gonna be interesting to see how the bases change. If everybody's gonna go full anti-3 against us or if we're gonna keep doing anti-2 and give us a chance easier chance to triple some bases it's gonna be interesting to see it's sort of um of course uh yeah i don't know it's upsides and downsides with with both but yeah um sky we're gonna check out 10v10 guys and um so many 10v10 triples amazing job to the guys as i said 10 10v10 triples 
I'm actually we had somebody six pack uh, Leo who I am not even going to show one attack off. He had a Queen Charge Lalo six pack, and we are already watching one Queen Charge Lalo here by Sky. So I want to keep it fresh and interesting. So sorry, Leo, not showing any of your attacks, but awesome job with six pack. And guys, as we watch the 10v10 tributes, I'm now going to get into your guys' comments from the last video and sort of catch up on that. So, um, all right, we had some. Uh, <laughs> Tony says, uh, sorry, he's retired, no fails for always in SL. I'm sure Tony's gonna come back soon. <laughs> Some update bashing. Uh, B Hop says he's ready for a new troop. Clan Games is just okay. I would have to agree after finishing the first real Clan Games. Actually quite fun and getting a hero level for free. Uh, to be able to jam that up, definitely valuable for a Tano 11 these days. Um, so yeah, Clan Games, I think cool addition to the game for sure. Nice job on that, Supercell. Uh, do you remember the minor nerf? Same will be with the Inferno, says Elton Lobo. Mm. So Inferno's will get nerfed, I'm assuming. Oh, Sky, nice jump. Uh, Queen Charge into the jump spell. Not quite sure on that. Uh, Psycho is really good. He explains stuff, uh, of course, referring to my announcement of the uh, new squad that is going to form between Psycho, Riggs, uh, Halo, and myself. Psycho is really good. He explains the thought process behind the text very well. YouTube Alliance could be a Clash version season two. Uh, Sort of, maybe we're gonna bring up uh, a similar format. Uh, no concrete plans yet, but it's going to be called the COC. You guys can spell the word yourselves. The COC Bromance is what the, the name that uh, Psycho uh, picked, which is actually funny. Um, and we're gonna see, it's gonna be a bunch of fun. Um, stuff to come, we're still setting up. I think the Discord server is set up now. I uh, haven't read anything, sorry, um, but uh, we'll see. Uh, still getting set up, uh, but should be some cool stuff coming soon. As Sky wraps up his triple here, really nice job to Sky. Uh, we're moving down quite a bit, but we're gonna shout out everybody that tripled at least. So, Lacey, you're with the 10v10 triple, Queen Charge Lalo on that one. Uh, dips, 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 dips. The Stu with the um, Kill Squad Hawk triple on this one, but we're actually gonna check that out. In another attack, so we're not gonna watch his. Leo, Queen Charge, Lalo, Triple, really nice. Dip, Leo, Queen Charge, Lalo, Triple, great job. Grinch, Kill Squad Hawks, I believe. Uh, then we've got, oh no, we're gonna watch this one, actually. Right, my list, guys. The list is here. 21 is on the list. Grinch coming in with uh, small Kill Squad Hawks, that seems to be really strong. That seems to be uh, getting a lot of three stuff right now. So let's check it out as I go over, go, go over, go over some more comments. Uh, Mutke had a lot of fun in his first GML war. Um, if he's, uh, if he's not mistaken, he got three out of four 10v10 triples. Also, uh, saw Tal Nine getting more relevant in leagues when hit rates are sometimes under 50 percent because every dip at tower 9 hurts a lot more because three stars on tower 10s are more likely and every scout slot more valuable very true very good uh, very good comment um, absolutely as i said a lot of things are still going to develop but uh, uh, cfu says uh, town 9 is going to become more relevant actually um, so it's going to be interesting to keep on watching that Motke says, in his opinion, the freeze isn't dead uh, on a new meta base since uh, it will have single inferno towers. So freeze on a queen charge is even more important since uh, can't only rage through inferno towers when charging them. Uh, and yeah, he says it's gonna be worth in some text. So interesting, gonna be interesting to see Motke. Uh, you know I've been challenging Tony, challenging I'm challenging you right now. 10v10 triple with a free spell, please. Freezing a single inferno tower. <laughs> if you do, I'm definitely gonna show it in a video. Uh, if you do it, if you let me know in time, that is, because, uh, you know, busy days, I might forget. 
Raj Agarwal has uh, invented a new hashtag. I like it already. Hashtag Ask Maxwell. In case you guys want to know stuff or want me to, to comment on something in the future, feel free to uh, further the hashtag Ask Maxwell. Uh, I'll be down. Thank you for suggesting that, Raj. But he is actually asked a question. As we watch another 10v10 triple by the Hawk Master Leroy. I don't know if Leroy has ever even failed the 10v10 yet with Hawks. Uh, this base being awfully scouted by uh, yours truly, actually. Uh, stepping in for Tunnel 9. Uh, but anyways, Leroy able to come away with the triple six pack again this war by Leroy. Really sexy stuff. So Raj is asking... Uh, when can we see Warwords in CWL? Uh, he's a big fin fan of Warwords because of Snap's videos. Uh, I, I make uh, up for his abs absence quite great. Keep up the good work. Uh, when can you see Warwords in CWL? Well, the clans for CWL Season 4 aren't out yet, but um, we are quite confident that we are going to make it to Season 4. Hopefully we will. Uh, haven't heard anything yet that would suggest that we won't. So we're gonna have to see. Um, season four, of course, starts in February. The placement matches, aka the wars, that should should determine, um, sort of as what kind of a ranking or with what kind of potential your clan goes into CWL season four. Those wars are starting in next week, I believe. Ten days, something York told me today on voice. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, exactly, but they're starting soon, <laughs> and um, yeah, so some more good wars coming up in the near future, and then hopefully season four in February. Uh, Karen says uh, he likes the clan games, even if you don't prefer some potions, selling them for 25 gems each is good. Sure, 25 free gems that we didn't get before. Go get the challenge, Tony, easy peasy. <laughs> I don't know, Tony. I think Tony will be back at some point, hopefully. I'm gonna motivate him, guys. I'm gonna motivate him. How to join War Wales? Well, there's uh, a recruitment server, but currently we are not actively recruiting. We are pretty full. The clan is pretty full. And, um, yeah, it's tough. We would almost have to kick somebody to make space. That's how full we are. But uh, whenever we are recruiting, there's either the server, there's a homepage, of course. Warwaits.com, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. Warwaits.com. Yeah, and it has the link to our recruitment server. So go to warwaits.com, uh, and that way you can apply, actually. Although we may not accept you right now. <laughs> uh, the Clutch Wizard! <laughs> Damn, that was so close. His other triple was not quite as close. Um, two more attacks left, guys. Those are going to be 9v9s. First up, we're going to have A-Team coming in with his favorite attack. Uh, Goho with the Snip Spell composition. Um, yeah, we're going to be checking that out. Two 9v9 attacks for you guys today. Um, then we have another comment by Azuna. Update has made it much easier for 10v10 3 stars and 10v11 2 stars. Mistakes can happen and there, uh, there's less punishment. It, I would like to, uh, I would be like... Uh, he would like to see a war mode where Infernos still have the heal reduction and then the casual players can have multiplayer where they can heal through Infernos. Well! That's very interesting. Uh, I really like that suggestion. Maybe we, you could implement that for friendly wars. But Supercell has actually done this to simplify the game. That is, I believe, or from what I've heard uh, from my contacts to, to Supercell as well. Uh, I think that's their main uh, idea behind this, to like simplify the game. Yes, I mean, everybody knew Infernos blocked the healing, but I don't know, like, whatever. And that would... Once again, complicated, of course, if you were to like bring on a new mode, a war mode that you could switch on and off. So, uh, if I would have to rate how realistic it is that that is going to actually come to the game, I would say it's very unrealistic. Although I like your idea, it's definitely pretty creative. I'm actually going to forward that to Supercell. How about that? I'm going to um, 
take this suggestion, this idea, and forward it to them and see uh, what they say. What else do we have? We have got... <laughs> Please, Itsu and Maxwell come back for Dark Lutas Season 4 CWL. Uh, very unlikely that that's going to happen. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Um, Itsu is back uh, playing day mode competitively. I think he's also going to play competitive next season. Not sure, haven't talked to him in two weeks or something. But uh, we'll see. And uh, thanks for the good job. Yeah, no worries. All right, so we're all caught up with the comments. I really like uh, like that, guys. Um, oh, by the way, before we check out the last replay, let's check out this beautiful, uh, these beautiful stats, guys. Uh, enemy team defenses. Take a look at how many all those fresh triples here. Fresh, 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 and then. Uh, shout out to number 30, Nasty, co-leader of Power COC, who actually defended this war against us. <laughs> Only Tal9 to defend, and anything else went fresh. Last replay for today is going to be on 35, Prince of Dubai coming in for this one. Port also six-packing with the Ice Wizards. I didn't even see that, but pretty funny stuff. Ice Wizards broken OP. You know, I haven't actually checked out any Ice Wizards uh, gameplay. But yeah, guys, um, I pot using the Ice Wizards is <laughs> definitely funny. Fresh it, of course, so he lost two Ice Wizards there right away to the Troll Teslas, uh, but is able to take those out with loons. Pot going in with the uh, Shattered, no, the Stone Logo Bowl. <laughs> um, that Ice Wizard, though, helping out with the funnel, taking out the Arch Tower. It's going to catch a giant bomb, though, and die a painful death. But the bowlers should be making their way into the base. Lava Hound is holding up the queen a little bit. Finally, Pot decides to drop his uh, Barbarian King in there as well. So he's going to be doing work. And uh, yeah, guys, in we go. Uh, making his way through all these defenses. Of course, the goal right here is to grab all the air defenses, actually. Uh, gut the base, take the expos. And uh, yeah, the kill squad is sort of stuck right now. Um, the jump spell didn't actually connect it did connect but the bonus targeted something weird there so they ended up banging a wall actually but the wall is gonna go queen is gonna be making her way in and he already starts with the loons at this point in time um, while the king is still tanking actually those arch towers are not tanked so uh, yeah i don't know but the air defense is going to go bk is going to grab it the, the expo though is still up but he has a bunch of loons of course so they're going to be able to do work. Sends in two loons here. Another troll tester. So um, even though uh, Power COC were trolling so much apparently here with their Teslas, at least on this base. No fail from Pot. So Pot with the six pack this war. Awesome stuff to him. Bunch of guys, of course, uh, with the very good attacks at Channel 9. And uh, yeah. Couple unused attacks in this war. I think two of their tents swagged hits. Uh, one of our tents something... I don't know. Yeah, whatever. So 115-109, quite a nice victory for us. 10 10 v 10s and 2 11 vs 11 triples. And uh, Power COC with 4 10 v 10s or 5, I don't know. And no 11 vs 11s. But uh, yeah, nice war. Shout out to Power COC and my man chat over there. Uh, definitely a fun war. That's going to do it for this recap, guys. As I said, I'm going to bring you up to date with what actually let me request some lalo and heal farming guys i'm actually going to make a farming video in case you're interested in that stay tuned to the channel tomorrow is going to be a farming video and it's going to be about uh, shout out to leonard for the troops it's going to be about town hall 11 uh farming yeah, Town 11 farming since uh, with the new hero levels, quite a few people are farming again. So, uh, our most recent wars that I haven't been featuring, I have featured FPC UK. I definitely remember that. Then we had Coastal Clash, who we beat on percent. Not a good war from either side, but uh, able to come away with the victory set was nice. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't able to record. Not quite sure. One Half Genesis, we beat. Uh, so that was nice. and I think I made a video about that. Let me check actually. Oh yeah, I made a video on One Life Genesis. 
Then Farm War, Asturias Empire, um, Los Boca Seca, actually also a Farm War, and then Power Series, you saw that one, and then we had uh, actually <coughs> a last minute arranged war against LP4 Hades, guys. That one uh, happened six days ago. Uh, so what happened with that one was uh, we were spinning quite heavy. Didn't match anybody for two hours. I was spinning. I got frustrated. So I w went to CWL lobby. That's what I usually do when we don't match anybody. And I asked around. And uh, LP4 haters said, yeah, I can also spin pretty heavy. And so we tried to match them we even up the breakdowns tried to match them randomly but didn't work so after 10 minutes we decided to go for a friendly war actually and as you can see they had an awesome performance we had 13 10 v 10 triples inside that war they had 10 but both sides cleared the 10s we had 8 11 v 11 attempts but only managed one triple and they got two 11 v 11 triples with five attempts so they had one more 11 versus 11 triple both sides cleared the 10s but that actually won them the war. Breakdown for that one was 7, 18, 15. Quite a cool war against LP4. Big shout out to them. But only 24 hours for the replay since it was a friendly war. So that's why I failed to record it. Unfortunately, don't want to hide a loss or anything, guys. In case you think that may be the thing. I failed it. Uh, as I said, I was busy. Actually, why was I away for so long? That's also a question I may get. Uh, first of all, Christmas, uh, spent some time with the family. Second of all, I was really sick. I'm still a bit sick, actually, in case you didn't hear that. <coughs> um, coughing just to prove it. No, I'm still a little bit sick. Really sick over the Christmas day, so I wasn't even able to speak, really. Uh, and, of course, not to record a video. And then also, it felt good to take a couple of days off. Uh, I've been uploading for the entire year, almost daily. And I don't make like any real money of this. The odd euro here and there, yes. But nothing that would like be able to make a living. So, yeah. No upload in a week. Uh, gonna be consistent uploads again going forward. Uh, that's the goal. And uh, yeah, I'm back, guys. Thanks for watching. And... Um, until next time, until tomorrow, farming video coming out tomorrow. I will see you all later. Peace out.